Now that I know the truth about who really wants this blended family thing to happen, I need to speak to Little Mendici because this has been a really big year for him. He's living with us in a whole new city. His mom just moved here and she's newly engaged. There's so much happening in his world and I just want to take a moment to just get in his headspace. Yo, your father the other night, what was that about? I don't know, man. He just kept going. <laughs> He's so weird. You look so uncomfortable. I felt like he was going too far with it. Like, he was just, he was just doing the most. Are you ready for a new stepdad? Yeah, like, come on, man. Like, he was just, it's probably him being a little jealous. I think that's <laughs> Jealous that you might have another man in your life. Don't make it sound like that. That doesn't sound weird, but it's different. It, it's unsettling for me right now. I'm not used to it. So the last thing my dad said to me before he left is, son, keep this family together. That's what he told the eight-year-old me. You have two brothers and a sister. And you'll become a father figure to them, so you have to lead by an example. All right. He wants all of us to feel love, and he just wants to bring in the whole family, so I can't really blame him, and I do understand him, but I just think everything has its time. I feel like things is just so perfect right now, how it is, and I just feel like there's no need to rush. I said the same exact thing. He wants everything to go back to how it was yeah. when, when he was home. I don't know if he realized like how bad it was from being inside. Yeah. When he went away, everything just completely like It went crazy. All these years, I've never had a conversation with Little Mendici about what happened at the reunion show. <laughs> Mendeecee has no idea of the magnitude of hurt I had to deal with while he was gone. What had happened at that reunion mm -hmm. where my mom was, you know, physically touched. I was young yeah. having to see that on TV, having my friends see that. It was horrible. You know, I'm sorry for that. I, I appreciate your apology. And this is, this is hard because this is our first time ever speaking about that. I'm just grateful that, you know, we're, we're past it. Yeah, like, me too. In the midst of going through all the attacks, I did not think about what effect it would have on Little Mendici. So hearing that he knew what happened, hearing that they were talking about it in school, he was in elementary school, that breaks my heart and it really does make me feel bad. I didn't really know how to treat you when you and my mom were y'all were at odds, so yeah. that's my fault for that. You were a kid. You owe no one an apology in this. You definitely don't owe me one. I feel like it's too soon to have a dinner. Yeah, are you going to break the news to your dad that a dinner is not your thing right now? Yeah, I'll be sure to tell him. I don't know that I'm, like, super excited to just sit down and, you know, all of that. Not everything needs to be said or addressed right I now. I definitely don't want to address anything more. I just want to move on. That's what I'm saying. And not even right now. Yeah. That's it. Let bygones be bygones. Time should have healed whatever is broken, and that's it. This talk was well needed. It was, it was good. Cause my dad was bugging out. I don't know what happened to Amir with that bucket of water, but the yeah, dog- He probably got lost on his way. Can you go find him? Yeah. Hey yo, it's Safari, listen. Thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love & Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe, click it, there's a button right there. Hit it right there, and subscribe, all right? Cheer!